The White House is backing a cybersecurity bill. The FTC can now sue companies for getting hacked, and robocalls are being blocked by a robo-killer. All coming up now on ThreatWire. World. I'm Shannon Morse, and this is ThreatWire for August 26, 2015, your summary of the threats to our security, privacy, and internet freedom. Let's take a breather from the ongoing Ashley Madison hacks today and discuss some other details that are surfacing about other privacy threats, because y'all know everybody is already reporting on the hashtag AM. But what is happening in D.C.? If you haven't heard of the CISA bill yet, you probably will. This bill is making its rounds in Washington, D.C. It stands for the Cybersecurity Information Sharing Act and would allow for companies to funnel threat intelligence information to many different government agencies. This kind of intelligence gathering is currently operated by the Department of Homeland Security, so opening it up could be problematic. Another problem with the bill, which the EFF pointed out, is that it has no provisions to remove unrelated personal info before sharing the data with the government, which means if your cell phone provider wanted to or needed to share data with the government branch of their choosing, they would be able to and send all your personal data along with it. In a letter from the DHS to the Senate, quote, the authorization to share cyber threat indicators and defensive measures with any other entity or the federal government, notwithstanding any other provision of law, could sweep away important privacy protections, particularly the provisions in the Stored Communications Act limiting the disclosure of the content of electronic communications to the government by certain providers. Ugh. The White House has now given its approval to the bill and Congress's recess is coming to an end after Labor Day. So we're pretty much sure that we're gonna hear more about this bill in the next coming weeks. As of Monday, the FTC now has full authority to sue companies for getting hacked. A U.S. appellate court ruled as such specifically for the case against Wyndham Hotels, who from 2008 to 2009 had more than 600,000 customers' data leaked from their servers. The Federal Trade Commission, aka the FTC, would have to determine if the breach was due to unfair or deceptive business practices. This brings a critical component to the consequences of not securing a network properly and promising privacy to customers when that privacy really isn't there. Wyndham Hotels is continuing their court battle, and if Wyndham does lose, they may not have to pay a fine, but would most likely have to go under the data protection scrutiny of the FTC for many years with fines as an option for violations. And lastly, in another story involving the FTC, is a new technology coined RoboKiller. Back at DEF CON, the FTC held a competition called RoboCalls Humanity Strikes Back in their aim to block RoboCalls from telemarketers and spammers. One app called RoboKiller stuck out as in its ability to detect and analyze RoboCalls and its ability to add them to a spam bucket. The creators won $25,000 for the application and to fund the creation and research of the technology and the application, a Kickstarter campaign is currently in process. Now, of course, we love featuring your comments, so if you have any thoughts on today's stories, leave me a note below. So here's a question for you. What are your thoughts on the FTC being able to sue companies for data breaches? Do you think that it's a great thing for a government to do, or do you think that it's stretching that hand a little bit too far? Yeah, that's a good one. Now check out our Patreon, patreon.com slash threatwire, to find out how you can support the show. We are ad-free and independent, so the show is brought to everyone and made possible because you guys think it's worth it. So thank you. And check out our Patreon perks too, because we might even feature fur babies, like these adorable ones. Because I really like cats and dogs, but I also like other animals. So if you have bunnies or ferrets or something. Anyway, <laughs> tangent aside, we are inching our way towards our next, next milestone goal and funding a second episode every single week for real. So keep on sharing and liking and subscribing and helping us get that word out. Thank you, like a million times, thank you. Threatwire.net is the place for all the shows and all the show notes. And with that, I'm Shannon Morse, and I will see you on the internets, all of them. <laughs>